Hello, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you the bit of software I use to uh, rename all my uh, DVD and Blu-ray rips, which is a free bit of software called uh, Rename My TV Series. So just start it up. There's two settings which I change. So if we go into settings down the bottom, one is the file name format because I think this looks a lot uh, neater and tidier than what it's uh, originally set at and the other one is always uh, always sort all files after adding files because say at the moment I'm uh, ripping uh, the Cheers TV series so each uh, series is split over four DVDs so you've got four zero zero files four zero ones threes and fours and if you don't untick that when you've added the files into selected it will uh, put all the zero zeros together or the zero zero ones together and so on and so on and so on you want it to be kept as the way you're adding them so always untick that box so I'll just close all you need to do up at the top here you've got search you just type into there and it will find uh, any TV program because it takes all its data from uh, TV DB so I'm doing cheers, I've already searched for it so it finds all the series for you I'm about to do uh, season 4 so I'm going to click on the top one I'm going to select this season and then I'm going to add selected episodes so that's season 4 and I'm going to add directories where I've got all my ripped files so I've counted videos I've got disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, disc 4, all for season 4. So I'll grab the first one, select. As you see there, I've got 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So that's the first one. I'm going to add the next uh, directory, disc 2, select. Because if I didn't untick that box I showed you earlier, that would be moved up the top there, which you don't want. Go to the next directory, disc 3 select and the last one add directory uh, disc 4 of season 4 select that's all my files all matched up and then all you do up the top you got rename files and click OK that's all your uh, video files all nicely renamed to uh, be used in Plex and once you've done that you can clear both sides and start on your next set of discs so I'll just close it down so as always I uh, hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye